Well, hello, friends, and welcome to NC Family's weekly update for the week ending Friday, October 18th. We have officially entered the 2024 general election voting season. In-person voting started yesterday, October 17th, in North Carolina. And according to national reports, record numbers of voters across the country are taking advantage of the option to vote early. Now, whether you choose to vote early or on election day, please be sure to vote. Uh, In fact, I would encourage you to consider voting early so that you know that your vote is cast and you avoid the possibility of something unexpected happening on election day that keeps you from getting to the polls. So why is this so important? Well, the fact is that these elected officials from the top of the ballot to the very bottom of the ballot make important decisions that directly impact our daily lives. In Matthew 22, verses 34 through 40, a Pharisee, who the text says was an expert in the law, asked Jesus, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Jesus replies, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment, and the second is like it, love your neighbor as yourself. And then Jesus goes on to say that all the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. So as we consider the incredible privilege we have as Americans to participate in our electoral system and to choose those who will lead us in civil government, it's also important that we live out our faith in a manner that honors God and that demonstrates love and compassion to our neighbors. Yes, including in the political arena, because we know that we have God's truth. We have an outline of his plan and purpose for us as we live our lives and relate to each other. Um, So these two things are really closely connected and are completely compatible, despite what some people claim. So this is why the public policy in the public policy and political realm Uh, NC Family is so committed to promoting and defending things like the sanctity of human life because every human being is uniquely made in the image and likeness of God, and our laws should honor that. Religious liberty, because we have a fundamental right to worship God according to the dictates of our religion and especially our personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Parental rights, because God has ordained parents as the primary authority and caregiver of their children. School choice, because effective learning is a key that enables us to grow into the people that God designed us to be. Biblical marriage and sexuality, because God created man and woman. He created marriage as the union of one man and one woman, and he created family as his intended structure for society and human flourishing. And finally, human dignity, because every individual has inherent value and should not be corrupted and victimized by things like pornography, human trafficking, drug abuse, and predatory gambling. I know this is a lot to chew on, but if you all have been tuning in at all to the political discussions and debates that have been taking place over the last several weeks and months, these fundamental issues are at the heart of this election. So you may ask, where do you go to get information about where the candidates stand on these important matters? Well, I'm glad you asked. Of course, NC Family has produced a voter guide uh, that's very extensive that includes all candidates running for federal and state level offices in North Carolina to represent you. Um, Our voter guide website is live at ncfamilyvoter.com. That's ncfamilyvoter.com. And if you are on NC Family's mailing list, you should have already received an individual print copy of our nonpartisan voter guide. You also still have time before the general election on November 5th to order voter guides in bulk quantities to distribute at your church, your civic group, and around your community. Uh, We printed a quarter of a million copies of our 24-page newsprint voter guide, and those are available free of charge. Just go to ncfamilyvoter.com. Again, that's ncfamilyvoter.com. The link is below the video here. And click on the Order Voter Guides tab. That link is also under the video. And you can order voter guides in the hundreds to distribute at your church, again, your civic group, and in your community. We're happy to provide this service to the citizens of our state um, free of charge. 
And one more thing, our voter guide includes, as I said, all the candidates running in federal and state races in North Carolina, but you will likely have local races on your ballot, and you need to research those races as well. If you visit the NC State Board of Elections website at ncsbe.gov, that's ncsbe.gov, again, a link is below the video, and click on Voter Search on the Board of Elections website, Voter Search, which is it comes up in the window that you'll see the first thing when you go to that website. Click on Voter Search, and you can type in your name, click on your voting record, and scroll down the page a little bit to get a copy of your sample ballot. That way you can be sure that you note all of the races that are taking place and other questions, whether it's local bond referenda or other questions, uh, that may be on your ballot so that you can be fully prepared when you go to vote. And again, friends, please, please, please be sure to go and vote, but be informed before you go to your polling location. Well, friends, that's all this week. It's a busy time. Uh, as always, we greatly appreciate your, pl your prayers, your uh, participation and partnership with NC Family, and your action. Uh, so please be informed voters, make sure you go vote, and pray, 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 uh, because we definitely need God's intervention and His wisdom as we seek to uh, elect those who will represent us and enact laws and policies that impact our daily lives and the lives of our neighbor. So let's be sure to honor God in how we go about uh, approaching this uh, and engaging uh, during this general election voting season. Friends, God bless you all. We're so grateful for you, uh, and we will look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks so much.